racing. It's one of the great things about the Carolinas. Over the years, more than a few cameras have come here to capture the excitement of the sport. But most were Hollywood productions that came from outside. Shifting gears, a new movie being shot here in the Carolinas is a truly homegrown Carolina production. North Carolina has been around for a while in this business, so we always kind of put on a good show for everybody, and, and uh, it's, it's important to, to keep everybody feeling good about what we're doing. If you're making a racing movie, I mean, the gasoline's in the in the dirt, like it's in the blood, it's it's around here. It just it kind of oozes that atmosphere, and so I think that you couldn't make a movie like this anywhere but North Carolina. Most of the crew was made up of locally hired film professionals, including the movie's lead cameraman. We were on a tight schedule, uh, 22 days. It's been, it's been tough, but it's been fun. Even though the production was homegrown, they didn't hesitate to put some big stars in front of the lens. Recognizable faces like M.C. Ganey, M. Emmett Walsh, and the very familiar John Ratzenberger. Just stop by to see if you're doing okay. Many people know Adam Hicks from his long-running role on Disney Channel's Zeke and Luther. But with shifting gears, Adam got a chance to try something new. It's like on the edge of your seat. There's a lot of family and personal drama, and you know, there's a lot of excitement. It's a different kind of character, I think, for me, because I kind of play this zany, outrageous kind of character on yeah. Disney. And this one's more like relaxed and, you know, kind of focused. The film also gave local actor Robert Creighton a chance to try some new things with his character. The experience has definitely been a different day in the office. I've done quite a few different things. I've never had to look like this on camera, so I'm actually like one of the dirtiest characters I've ever played. <laughs> so it's actually it's very different, very different, but I'll definitely like it. Every experience is a, another opportunity to do something different, step in another person's shoes. Shifting Gears was a brainchild of Keith Harris, a North Carolina-based actor with years of experience in the movie business. It's a family sports comedy centered around dirt track racing. Uh, I wrote the first draft of the script in 2005, wow. actually. Tom is an overworked dad. He's real adamant about making college a reality for his kids. Uh -huh. Jeremy, my son in the film, wants to be a mechanic. That's kind of the conflict. The dad, Tom, myself in the film, gets a letter that his father has passed away mm. and bequeathed them this small service station in this small town. And uh, they take this time to start a family business. So they come together. Um, well, that's just mistake number one. <laughs> <laughs> Keith and I met in 2010 uh, when my movie, The Fat Boy Chronicles, was at the Jacksonville Film Festival. As soon as I read the script, I called Keith back in 2011 and said, we have to make this movie. Uh -huh. Absolutely want to direct this film. Here we go. Bam, action, action. I just read the story. I love the character. I love the breakdown. And yeah, it was just a good story, man. So yeah. I've never been to North Carolina. I was like, let's do it. So it worked. It worked. You know, it's a make me laugh, make me cry film. It appeals to the four-year-old in the audience as well as the grandparents, 60, 70. Yeah. You know, anybody can relate to these real life stories. And when you tell them and package them up in a way that makes people laugh and makes them cry, I mean, that's a home run. And this is my second racing film. But uh, at the same time, this one had a, an element of comedy that was different, a lot of gags that, that played into the film. Experience when I had me messing with this vacuum over here. This vacuum like tears my clothes up, it sprays crap in my face, like I turn around, I couldn't see. It was good. That's the experience I think I'm gonna talk about one of the most, I definitely can say. That's the one I'm gonna have a lot of talks about. It's a very reciprocal thing between the production and the community. And so it was important for us to be authentic and I think we did a good job. We had local racers out there working with our stunt team to create these fantastic little car sequences so we did a stunt where the engine supposedly blows in the last turn uh -huh. and it comes down and we were shooting it in front of a live crowd and uh, the stunt driver missed the camera by a foot. Wow. Yeah! <laughs> so it was literally a... I like mean, were you, were you just a little... Uh... That's what insurance is for. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> there you go. It wasn't the first close call for this crew. Earlier, the film had been ready to shoot the production all set to go when things abruptly fell apart. Really was horrible. I mean, the worst day of my life when that money fell through because we had people landing in town. We were, you know, people wow. were starting. I mean, offices were open, we were moving, and then uh, that happened. But, you know, first, it, you know, you have to take the hit. You have to go to the cast and the crew and you have to tell them it's, yeah. it's, it's over. 
But all that changed when the Alderman Company of High Point, North Carolina, decided shifting gears would be the perfect vehicle for their entry into the world of motion picture production. There is no way we would have even touched what we're doing now from several standpoints. The people involved, one, the support that we've got from the Alderman Company, the community, Friendship Speedway, everybody. And I think it's just about having the will to not be defeated that day, to carry on and continue making the film under any circumstance. And you've done it. Well, we're doing it. Yeah, we're, we're doing, doing it. it. To see the way the community pulled together, because that's the one thing I really wanted to hit on this film is the authenticity of the racing, the community, the people. That's been an amazing, just eye-opening experience. We are rolling, 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 rolling. I call out. The track was the biggest thing I've ever done. Because when you say directing the track, I mean, the track is the track. It's its own anomaly. It's like shooting on a different planet. There are different rules. There's different time frames. Things don't happen quickly. And you add weather on top of that, and, you know, things happen. We had five, uh, now technically six camera teams running at the same time. So we had all these different cameras in, and, and it was a coordination nightmare in a lot of ways. You mix that in with the fact that we were having a live race. And so it was uh, a lot of adrenaline was pumping and a lot of stress. I went one night Saturday to the actual race, and then just the energy, I mean, it was intimidating. There's people who eat, drink, and sleep dirt racing. It was loud, people were cheering, and you know, I'll take that home, definitely. The racing culture of dirt track, it's a gigantic family of people. The fact that I had so many cameras running out there and just being able to coordinate that, and I found myself running across from one end of the track to the other, making sure that we were getting what we needed. We had a small amount of time to pull it off, and uh, I'm, I'm impressed by the amount of footage we were able to pull. It's one thing to have an idea on how to do something, but then actually see it executed, it, it, it's beyond words. And I think we're making the absolute best movie that we can um, with the resources that we have to work with, and I think we're making a hit film that audiences will love. There are many who dream of making movies, but Keith Harris knows it's a dream that takes an army of talented and dedicated people to make it happen. And what better place to make a dream come true than right here in the Carolinas?